What tools do you recommend to reduce stress? Well, you know, everybody tells you do yoga, do exercise, all the traditional things I agree with. However, over the last couple of years, I've begun to study um, a kind of stress which I call cultural stress. That's the stress of modern living. All the digital dependency, the expectations, the rules and regulations, all of those are happening on a daily basis, constantly and pervasively. So yes, dealing with your cancer physically, you're going to your physician, you're getting therapy, you're getting treatment, and so you're taking care of it. But generally, we're not paying so much attention to that stress of modern living, which is compounding the stress that you have normally of your disease. So what happens when you have that stress of modern living is you begin to be more isolated. You begin to try to follow all the rules and regulations and try to be perfect and it becomes impossible. You're not sleeping well because you have that cell phone or the e email right next to you. You're not, you're not able to function in a way that allows you to relax and take care of yourself. So what I did recently is, a, is an interesting study. I asked my patients, well, you know, tell me about your stress and predominantly even the cancer patients would tell me, yes, I'm really worried about my cancer, I'm afraid of what it's going to do for me, but besides that, I, I'm not sleeping because I'm worried about if I miss an email. I'm not worried because my children expect something from me and my, and my husband expects something from me and my wife expects something, my work, everybody's expecting from me and I don't have enough to give. And <clears throat> I feel less worthy. I feel like I'm not capable of functioning at my highest level. And as I understood them, as I understood what they were saying, I realized there was a time in their life when they didn't have to be perfect, when they didn't judge themselves, they weren't so critical, they weren't so isolated because they felt that isolation. And that was when they were toddlers. When they didn't, if you think of a toddler walking into the room right now, she would be, or he would be jumping up and down, creative with different things, not worried about what other people thought of them, not worrying that he was bald or she was bald, um, because it didn't matter, it was all about them. And I created a lot of what I call insights that encouraged that. So things like why have a bad day when you can have a, a good day. Um, be imperfect, live longer, because this sense of trying to be perfect makes it so difficult. Don't judge yourself. Forgive yourself. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. So I created 11 of these insights by themselves, and I discussed that issue of cultural stress with my patients, many of them with cancer, and I asked them to look at those 11 cards once a day, or twice a day, excuse me, um, every day, and also, um, look at my app, which is Dr. Murad Inspirations, every day. And what happened, we judged their stress level with various uh, tests. One of them is the cone perceived stress test. And the stress level was tremendously diminished and in all aspects. So now they understood about their cancer a little bit more. They were able to deal with it in a better way and they minimized that stress so it was constant and pervasive that they weren't dealing with. They understood, I don't have to be so perfect. I don't have to follow every single rule. I don't have to be there for every single person at every minute of every day. I need time for myself. I'm an important person and I need to be myself and take care of myself. Those are issues that were so critical and so helpful to all of these patients. Mm -hmm.